Now, the government of the, the Indian capital of New Delhi will implement the odd even scheme for vehicles from today. Now, this is the third time that the scheme, which is aimed at keeping a check on vehicular pollution in New Delhi, is being implemented. The formula was implemented in the years 2017 and 2016. Under this scheme, vehicles with license plates ending in an odd number and even numbers are allowed to apply on alternate days. The restrictions will also apply to the vehicles with uh, registration numbers of other states. Two-wheelers and electric vehicles have been exempted from the restrictions, but not those running on compressed natural gas. Vehicles being used for medical emergencies and those carrying school children in uniform will be exempted under the scheme. Vehicles with VIPs, only women, children aged up to 12 years and vehicles occupied by physically disabled persons will also be exempted. The scheme will end on November 15th. It's likely to be extended if pollution levels continue to remain in the severe category. However, the scheme will not be implemented on November 10th. Delhi's pollution crisis is grabbing, in fact, grabbing international headlines. It's no secret that burning fossil fuels, vehicular emissions, diesel generators and burning of waste, all of these contribute to air pollution. What's important to understand right now is that there is other unusual contributors to air pollution as well that most of us have no clue about. Our next report takes us a look at some of these unknown causes of climate change. Did you know that watching videos online is bad for the environment? Not kidding, it takes a lot of energy to store and stream online content. All the content of the World Wide Web is stored in data centers. These servers require a lot of cooling, and for this, electricity is needed. How is the current being generated? Mostly by burning fossil fuels. Last year, online video streaming produced as much emission as the entire country of Spain. Now wait for Stranger Things. This causes air pollution too. Studies have found that inhalers have a significant carbon footprint. Same as meat consumption, inhalers are used by at least 239 million people globally. 70% of these devices contain greenhouse gases. They contribute to nearly 4% of the NHS greenhouse gas emissions. One thing's for sure, you can't blame asthma patients for this carbon footprint. For them, the choice is save the planet or save yourself. But there are easier choices too. For example, this one, giving up meat. Meat eating is one of the biggest environmental hazards. In order to meet the growing demand, more and more trees are being cut to make space for grazing. Did you know that the fossil fuel used in producing one hamburger is the same as that is used in driving a small car for 20 miles? Animal agriculture is responsible for more greenhouse gases than all of the world's transportation system combined. Here's another eureka moment. If a device is turned off, but plugged into an outlet, it consumes electricity. Science calls it the phantom energy. And this accounts for 10% of our electricity bills. So, in order to reduce carbon emission, we must unplug our toasters, desk lamps, phone chargers and microwaves. And don't shop till you drop. Shopping for new clothes is linked to greenhouse gas emission. Here's how. Every time we throw out old clothes, they end up in landfills. They then squat and decompose there. This process includes methane emission. Moral of the story, watch less videos online, cut down on your weekly stakes, plug out your devices and stick to window shopping. Bureau Report, we on World is One.